Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another sales update. So we've got a bit of a bumper edition today. Uh, I've got quite a few sales to show you. I actually didn't realise over the past sort of week, two weeks, how many cool sales have come in. Uh, there's some really, really nice items in here that I just really like I just really, and I really want to share with you guys. So be sure to stick to the end just to have a look through all of these sales with me. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. And if you're excited to get on with the sales update, please do click that like button so without further ado we shall get on with this so first off is not a particularly exciting sale um, but I just thought I'd share this one first get it out of the way so we've got this uh, Stuart dress Scottish tie got this ages and ages and ages ago from a CS it was either like 50p or a quid uh, and as you can see there I got £7.59 nothing really special it was back when I was sort of having dabbling in clothing and ties and stuff like that um, and I, I am like selling through a few of the ties I've got um, but generally a lot of them don't go for much money but what I might do in future is uh, if I'm picking them up for sort of 50p, something like that, I might do like a, a bundle of a few of them that sort of fit together. So for example, I might pick up a few of like the car cartoon ties and then do a bundle of four for like 15, 20 quid, something like that, rather than just doing them individually for sort of five to seven quid. Um, but yeah, this was this one, it was all right. So next is this uh, something I've had for a long time actually. I have sold through most of these now. I think this was the last bundle to go. And these are like a uh, jazz like uh, magazine CD collection. And I know that when these magazines obviously come out with, you know, you get you either get like a toy in there or you get a CD or you get a part of a of a figure or something that you're going to end up building up. Um, I know that they're quite expensive. So I saw like, I don't know, 50 of these on a uh, shelf at a charity shop, well maybe not 50, maybe about 25, 30, something like that, but I can't remember, it was so long ago, um, and we were like 50p each or something, and I thought, you know, should I go on these, shouldn't I, and I ended up going on them, and I think I, um, well, I don't know, I must have got, I must have paid like 15 quid for the lot, I'm trying to work out how many, how many I got, but it's probably about 30 in the end, so I think I paid about 15 quid for the lot, and I've sold about four or five bundles of these for the price you see here, or maybe even a little bit more because this price was uh, slightly decreased over time, obviously, as it sat there and sat there and sat there, kind of decreased the price more and more. So yeah, I was quite happy with these, I'm glad these have gone now, and yeah, they... Some of them sold quite quick, some of them were a bit slower, but they've all gone now, so I'm happy with that. Next was something really cool. Um, these are like candlesticks or chamber sticks, and they have the sort of candle snuffer on the ends like that, like fix on the ends. So what, what I think you'd do with these is you'd have your candles in each of them, and then you'd use the, the sort of little snuffer off that one to, to dab out that candle, and then vice versa. I think that's what you do, but... These were really cool, and I, and I was like, I can't wait to list these, they're really awesome. Um, and yeah, I got 24 99 plus postage, probably within a week or two for these, so maybe I could have charged about 30 quid for these, maybe 35 but I'm still happy with what I got, and we, these are really cool item. Um, and yeah, I paid, well, I kind of, you know, worked out in an auction job lot, maybe two quid, something like that, so not a lot at all. And I'm really happy about them, they're a really cool uh, item actually. And it was quite interesting just to um, look at them and have them. Because I thought I've never had anything like that before. Or not with these sort of fixed uh, snuffers on there. Usually the, the little candle snuffers are, are obviously attached and then you can tape them off. Um, so it did take me a few minutes working out why they were fixed and how you would actually obviously um, like snuff out the candle, um, but yeah, that was pretty cool, they're pretty awesome. Uh, next was uh, Mini with a Mouse, Disney Store, St. Patrick's Day 1, I believe this was, it was either £3 or £5 in a charity shop, I think it was £3, but something's telling me it was 5 I'm not sure, I'm not sure, it was one of the two anyway, and I got 20 quid plus postage, um, yeah, it turned out to be a bit more of a sought after one, so got a little bit more there. Obviously, certain ones of Minnie and Mickey aren't really as valuable, maybe like sort of, well, anywhere from sort of 5 to 12 quid, something like that. Um, but this one was a little bit more sought after, so I could command a little bit more money. So I was quite happy with that, as I say, 20 quid plus postage there. Uh, next was... Um, well, what I'm kind of calling my first item of furniture, even though it is pathetically small for an item of furniture, but 
I suppose I suppose you could call it furniture. It's like a little um well I put here like gardening stool, milk stool, what I just put I just flung a load of keywords at the title. I don't know whether people would use it for milk or gardening or anything, but I just literally flung a load of keywords in the title, obviously footstool there as well. And just that obviously helped it sell. It sold within a couple of weeks for 20 quid plus postage. Completely made up a price. Maybe I should have gone a bit higher. Maybe 30 would have been more like it. I'm not sure. But I just literally made up a price. Flung a load of keywords in there and it sold. Um, but yeah, you can see it's not very tall. But yeah, I can officially say I've kind of got into furniture. So yeah, that was pretty cool. I liked that sale and I was happy to share it with you. I really wanted to share it with you. Uh, next was... Something I wasn't actually sure what this was. I'll just uh, show you this picture here. So I was thinking, I just put on it like uh, on the keywords like uh, ornament or de desk tidy or like an ink holder or something. I, th I don't think I'm, I'm right in saying ink holder now. You know, now I'm looking at it more. Um, but I did put ink holder on there. Maybe it's, I don't even know what it is. I still don't know. I mean... It was a little bit too short to like you for anything that would you would hold your pens in there or something. But I did end up putting desk tidy on the listing, so I don't know. I, I really don't know, but I just flung a load of keywords in there. Someone shot me an offer of 19.99. Maybe they know what it is. I don't know. Um, and then obviously plus the postage, so I accepted 19.99 and uh, the po postage obviously on there. Again, this was just from an auction job lot. Again, couple of quid, something like that. It would have uh, sort of worked out individually in the job lot. I didn't actually say on that one, but again, that one just came in a job lot. So again, maybe two, three, four quid, something like that. So yeah, quite happy with that one and. Um, yeah, interesting item. I would have kind of I'd like to know what that was specifically. I did I did ask a few people as well, but I did I didn't really people just didn't really quite know what it was. Maybe someone will tell me. Maybe someone will drop a comment down below. I'm not sure. Maybe I was asking the wrong people. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so still I was happy with that one. Nice little sale there. Quite a cool little item. Next, uh, actually a record. Um, uh, you may remember ages ago, I don't know, did I actually show them in a video? Maybe I did show them in a video or maybe not, but I got big bundles of records from the auction house just to sort of try it out. Um, and to be honest, it's not something I'm really, you know, I, I needed to do it to see if I was passionate about it. But records and stuff, I'm not really, not to sell. I don't mind, I've got a record player over there and I don't mind listening to them. But to sell them, I, I just don't know. I, I'm just not as passionate about them as I thought I might be. Uh, just this Frank Sinatra one here, Portrait of Sinatra, uh, 9.95, obviously there. Nothing major. Um, probably cost me, literally worked out maybe 20p or 50p in a job lot. I was getting like a hundred records for like 20 quid or something so it was it wouldn't have worked out much um so yeah still quite happy with that sale but as i say records aren't really something i was i'm that interested in but i did want to show it because it you know not many people really show record sales on on these sales updates so yeah i just wanted to show that uh graduate phase eight uh controller i think it's yeah sega mega drive uh, again, this is just leftover stock from when I was doing video games, like, quite heavily. I still do the odd video game, but I don't do... You know, I'm not getting these job lots anymore. I'm not doing it like that anymore. It's just the testing and stuff and all that. I, 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 it just gets to me now. Like, you know, a year ago, I could have done all the testing and it would have been easy for me. But now, I just... I, I want to work smarter. I want to get into things that don't involve hardly any work. I know that sounds really lazy... Um, but it's because that's what I want to do. That's that's who I am. I'm a person who likes to work easy. I'd rather have easy work, you know, listing. For example, where was that plush there? I'd rather list a plush. That plush didn't need any cleaning or anything. Just literally whack on the photo area, quick photo, done, 20 quid in the bank, on to the next thing, you know. Or again, like this, uh, well, even that stool or this, uh, you know, this ink holder or whatever it is, I don't know. These these two, again, were very, very easy. You know, no testing, no cleaning, really. I don't clean my, uh, I don't clean my brass or anything like that. That's what I like. Easy, bang it on the photo area, a few snaps, get it on, you know, make a good margin on it, move on, reinvest, etc. I don't like things that take loads of my time out. But anyway, so this was just left over stock. 
9.95 i'm probably in profit on it but i couldn't really tell you i'm just getting it out so yeah 9.95 on that one took ages to sell though um the next was this uh vintage copper frying pan this had a this was like a really long handle this it doesn't i don't know whether i've got I've ever got a measurement on it yeah it's not very clear actually i could have done with uh, putting that tape measure a bit to the side actually but it looks like it's about 55 centimeters in length this thing and even the handle is like, what's that? The handle is like 20, 25, 30 centimetres long, just the handle. So it was a little bit annoying to pack, but I got there in the end. Um, and yeah, 19 99 plus postage. Quite a nice one, actually, this. Maybe I should have gone 25 quid on this, actually. You know, just having a look there. I think maybe 25 would have been more accurate. But yeah, still nice one there. Again, auction job lot. Few quid, maybe three quid, something like that. So happy with that. As I say, 20 quid plus postage. Next is the Art Deco. I don't know whether I showed this in a whole, vid whole video. I think I might have done. Uh, this was Vintage Art Deco, uh, Carlton Ware, so I'm at Toast Rack. It's a shame that these things just aren't worth that much. A lot of these Art Deco Toast Racks, and to be honest, a lot of Art Deco pottery and stuff, it just isn't worth the money that I see it being worth, you know? Like, uh, th this really, to me, is a £20 item all day long, but it's not a £20 item. It's very hard to explain. Like, the market doesn't determine this as a £20 item. But me, in what I value that at, you know, I would pay £20 for that, you know, but mo most people in the market won't price at that, so therefore it isn't exactly worth that. So, yeah, it's a bit annoying, this. I would have liked a bit more for this. Obviously, I'm pretty sure it's hand-painted. You can see, yeah, it's hand-painted there. Carlton Ware hand-painted. I really like Carlton Ware, a lot of the stuff they do. I know it, you know, there are there is better stuff out there, but I'll, I just like Carlton where it's quite delicate, it's quite sweet, it's quite subtle. Um, but yeah, I actually accept an offer of eight ninety nine on this plus a postage, just get it gone. Again, one or two quid in a, in an auction job lot. So yeah, happy with that. I did get it get it gone, but I would have liked to get a bit more out of that. But you know, it's just at this point in time, the market doesn't uh, obviously doesn't value it that much. Uh, something else I took an offer on. I took an offer of twenty quid. On this uh, Spode Italian serving uh, sandwich tray. Probably would have paid about sort of three quid, four quid for this in an auction job lot. Uh, again, 20, 20 quid there plus my 449 postage. Um, I like selling Col Copeland Spode. I like it. I don't know why. I just It's just something I really like selling. It's quite nice. I, yeah, I just like the blue and white. It's quite nice. You know, I sell a lot of the blue and white stuff. Um, but yeah, and it seemed to go quite quick as well, maybe a week or two. So yeah, 20 quid plus postage, happy with that. Next was um, a bit of a mistake actually from ages ago. Uh, this was a Hindi Looper painted floral, uh, floral like, uh, can well I put candle storage box. I'm assuming it's a candle storage box, but I don't know what made me think that got this uh, little certificate with it as well but essentially this was from ages ago i actually paid um 10 quid in a charity shop and it what it literally it didn't go for ages and it, like a, literally a year or something um and i accepted an offer of 23 quid uh, the other day and you know i've still made profit out of my tenor but it's not the margin that i would like so yeah if i saw one of these again i would pick it up for cheaper you know i'd maybe pay a fiver for it maximum but a tenner, that's a bit too steep. However, I didn't mind paying up just to see, you know, because I thought I might be able to get 30 or 35, maybe even 40 for this. But turns out it wasn't to be. Um, but it's still quite a cool looking little item there. And I don't know whether it is in fashion. Well, I'm not going to say it's in fashion because I don't know whether it is or isn't actually. But um, I know that one point this must have been in fashion anyway. So, yeah, that was that one. Bit of a mistake there, but I still made a little bit of money on it. And obviously then I can reinvest that profit. Next was Antique Royal Crown Derby um, Trio. This was bought um, alongside another item. So I did like a very... I only did a small discount. I think I gave him a, a, a five off the, the, the like the item. So basically, he bought two items, and I gave him a five off this item because he bought two items. So he bought this one, and then like a um, just like a standard sort of. Well, it wasn't that standard. It was just like an Armani uh, Armari pattern, not Armani 
our Mari pattern, um, you know, teacup and saucer royal crown derby again, um, but it wasn't as good as this one. Um, so yeah, 25 quid plus postage for this because I gave him a fiver off this, and uh, yeah, quite happy with that. This came in. What was it? This was, was this in the royal crown derby job lot? I think this was in the royal crown derby job lot, wasn't it? That I paid. Um, or no. Was this, no, I think this was in another job lot. This wasn't in the Royal Crown Derby job lot that I showed you with the plates. No, this was in my more recent job lot. So I paid basically um, 25 quid for Mason's plates uh, and a load of um, Royal Crown Derby teapots and uh, salt cups and so I think I got um, three cups and saucers. Then I got this trio. I got three or four... Um, Royal Crown Derby teapots, and I got some Mason's plates as well for either £25 or £30 plus commission. So it's a really decent deal because those uh, Royal, uh, Royal Crown Derby teapots they can go for like 30 quid on their own, so you know, 30 40 quid on their own. So I was more than happy with this sale. So it probably worked out at maybe four or five pound in a job lot. This one, a little bit more than the standard kind of you know, box job lot deals that maybe if I averaged it out in cost terms it would be only one pound an item something like that so a bit more cost involved with this one but you have to pay up a little bit more to get more quality stuff so yeah quite happy with that really nice item love dealing with it uh, again something easy you know um, that you don't have to do too much research and you don't have to do too much uh, you know cleaning and testing and all that sort of stuff you don't need to do any of that so yeah again quite a nice little item there uh, next was this vintage Falstaff uh, silver plate uh, sort of little tray I thought this was bigger than it was when it sold but then I looked at the photo here well no I didn't even look at the photo actually I, I went in and I grabbed this item out of storage and I was like, oh my god, is it really only that big? I thought it was bigger than that on the photo. But yeah, it could could be a bit misleading, that photo there. So that's why I always try and do measurement photos as well, so people know the actual size. Because if you did a photo like that and then someone got it, you know, they didn't message you to say, you know, what's the measurements? And they actually got it and received it and thought, oh, well, that's really small. They might end up messaging you or something, so, uh, and there might be a little bit of a problem there. So I always try and do measurement photos as well to make them aware that, you know, obviously it isn't maybe as big as it looks or it isn't as small as it looks. Um, but yeah, I was... Um, quite surprised when I got this out of storage um it is 26 centimeters but I actually thought on that photo it was more like you know a big like 40 or 50 centimeter one um but yeah 10.99 plus my postage nothing really really desirable but it's a nice little silver plate tray there and Falstaff it's an okay make it's not the best make but it's okay I've had it a few times before um and yeah there's the little uh well I don't know whether you're going to see that very well actually but it just says foul staff there and then silver plated i think that's england underneath so yeah that's that one uh next is a one of these like sort of what are they called are the enamel yeah enameled uh, that's the word i'm looking for they're like enamel painted eggs you know with this black on and they come in all different colors and stuff this one was quite a big one again i didn't have any uh, tape measure at this point so i was using my royal, my really tattered royal mail size guide um looks like it's about 13 14 centimeters maybe about 14 centimeters there and you can see it opens up there um i actually accepted an offer of 15 quid on this plus postage didn't go for ages again a couple of quid in a job lot maximum um so i thought let's get it out let's let's get reinvesting into more stuff um so yeah 15 quid plus postage on that nice little item um and this was a little bit bigger than a couple of the others that i got in the job lot got about three of these in the job lot and two were a little bit smaller and of different colors but they're quite cool worth looking out for but you know you only want to be paying a quid or two for these especially you know if they're quite small ones maybe even only 50p um but yeah, that's that. Uh, something that I got in an auction job lot, I showed these on Instagram actually when I was listing them. Probably took about two weeks to sell. Um, these were really, really lovely. Sort of a nice deep blue, um, you know, cut glass. So, sort of, I, so I've put, uh, oh no, I ha uh, yeah, I did put wine glass there. I don't know whether they'd be quite wine glasses or, 
because they aren't like really big. They're not, you know, as you can see, they're only about 13 centimeters. So maybe it would be more of something like, well, no, maybe not sherry, but like uh, cognac or something like that. I don't know. I'm not sure. But it just seems a little bit too small for wine. But I suppose you could drink wine in them or whatever. Uh, you, you could drink anything in them. It doesn't really matter, does it? But um, yeah, so uh, these are really, really nice. I got 14.99 plus post of these. When I say they're really, really nice, I don't mean they're of really, really good quality. Like the, they weren't like really, really amazingly good. Uh, great quality cut glass or anything I just like them I can see a lot of appeal in them uh, there is a, a distinction between what is quality and what you just like you know like for me I like a lot of things not necessarily because they're quality but just because I like the look of them like you know some people would say oh well Carlton Ware isn't very good quality whereas I think it's it looks nice so yeah okay it's maybe not the best quality or maybe not you know the best value but I just think it looks nice so I, d I want you to be aware of that because when I say oh these were really really nice I don't mean these were really good high quality stuff I'm just meaning these look nice um but yeah they do they're really nice they look nice uh 14.99 so obviously if these were better quality if I could see more quality in these uh, or maybe they're a crystal or something like that then obviously the price would be uh, much higher but obviously because I thought they looked nice but they weren't necessarily great great quality uh, that's why the price is a little bit lower anyway I move on from that little bit of a rant um, next was this thing that I showed in my recent haul video uh, Bl Blyden Races uh, Centenary 1962 um, this went within about three days or so, so I'm thinking maybe I should have actually gone 30 quid on that. But you live and learn. Uh, maybe it, it it was more suited to 30 quid with obviously the carving there because it's like a 3D carving. So I thought to myself, what you know, when they sold, I thought mm, maybe I should have gone a bit higher now. But definitely in future on something like this, uh, I've never had something like this before really, so that's why I just for for a price out there um but you live and you learn and next time i'll be putting something like this you know with, with a 3d carving really nice plate like that maybe more at 30 quid because uh, there's definitely collectors out there for this stuff uh, and yeah 20 quid plus my postage there uh next was this uh, vintage african carved um sort of wooden sculpture i've had oh my god um i got I don't know if you remember, it was in my video where uh, it was entitled Huge Auction Hall, um, or I Filled the Car Again, or something like that. Definitely check out that video if you haven't already. Um, I think it's entitled I Filled the Car Again. So if you search on my channel, if you go to my channel and click the search icon, and type in I Filled the Car Again and click search, it should should come up. Um, but basically, basically, you'll see how many of these I actually got. I got like a job lot, uh, well I got, yeah I got a job lot that was two boxes full for 45 quid plus commission, but well no sorry it was two job lots, two job lots, separate job lots, one for 20 quid, one for 25 quid, 45 quid plus commission all in, and there was about, I don't know, 40, 45, 50 of these, it basically worked out at a quid a piece. And I have sold so many of these, like I must have cleared two, three hundred quid, something like that, out of my 45 quid plus commission job lot. And I've still got loads to sell, I've still got ten of them or something left, including one big one that's still on for about 40 quid as well. So, yeah, these are really, really cool. If you can grab your hands on these, they're, no, they're nothing like really, really special. They're kind of just uh, what's known as kind of tourist pieces. Um, so, you know, they're not like really, really special or anything, but, you know, they still go for a tenner plus postage, maybe 15 quid plus postage, and uh, yeah, I got a load of them, so I'm well in profit on these. Every time one sells, I'm just so happy because I just think, well, you know, after postage and fees, it's all, all money in the bank, Matt. So, yeah, really cool on those ones. And then finally, something that sold in the middle of Thursday Talks yesterday, I actually showed my phone on... Uh, on the screen as well when this sold um, was this Walt Disney Cruise Line D uh, DCL Castaway Club uh, rucksack. Had this for a while. I paid a fiver in a charity shop, and you can see there I got twenty three pounds seventy four plus postage. So yeah, quite happy with that one. Um, you know, nothing really really special. Did take a while to go, 
Um, but yeah, still happy with that one. Nice little Disney stuff. Obviously, like, some of these Disney rucksacks are worth looking out for. Like, this one's actually quite plain. Um, the only reason it's obviously got a bit more of appeal is because it's that Disney, Disney Cruise Line. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean click that. Uh, Disney Cruise Line, obviously, like the Castaway Club. That's what gives it a bit more appeal because it's a little bit different to some of the other Disney bags out there. But a lot of these Disney bags are definitely worth picking up. And, and I've got 20 quid. Uh, for about three or four of these Disney rucksacks now. Um, so yeah, definitely worth picking up some of these. But obviously you need to look into the one that you're, uh, you know, you're hoping to buy. Because obviously different ones will have different value. But, you know, a lot of these do have good value, 20 quid at least. So yeah, anyway, that's that. That's all my sales. Really, really happy to share a few of them with you because there's some really nice sales in there. Some of which are good quality. Others are which are not as good quality, but I just like them for what they are. Um, and yeah, I will leave it there, guys. If you haven't already, please do subscribe, as I mentioned at the start. And don't forget, if you liked the video, please do give it a like. Drop a comment down below with any of your thoughts on any of the items you have seen here. And I will see you in the next one. So I'll see you very soon, guys.